This is our family of Sulawesi crested black macaques. We've got seven of these guys in here. Uh, macaques are actually, they have a very complex social structure uh, with a very strict hierarchy. Uh, so this is the boss man here. He's our dominant male uh, called Kato. He's a very handsome boy. He's very easy to tell apart from the others just purely because of the size of him. As the leader of this group, he has first dibs on the food items, uh, the best beds, uh, and the ladies as well. So he's got quite a relaxed lifestyle. He all is also in charge of keeping the group in order. So if these guys would have a bit of a squabble, it's usually over food items, it's down to Kato to sort them out. He usually does that with a really simple vocalization. It almost sounds like a bird going, caw, caw. It's very similar to that sort of sound, uh, but to these guys, that is him showing that he is the boss. His brother is also in this group. He's down the far end over here. Uh, he's called Coco. He's probably one of the most handsome macaques we've got. These guys are called crested macaques because of that hairdo, and I think Coco has definitely got the best hairdo. This species, grooming is really important for them. It's a way they can bond socially together and maintain, maintain good relationships between the individuals. Uh, and actually I've seen the female sort of grooming Coco's hair quite a lot recently. Uh, so it is obviously quite an important feature for him. We've got two younger males in this group as well, called Nanas and Neo. Uh, they're going through sort of teenage phase. They are so much because they really keep me on my toes. Macaques are incredibly intelligent animals uh, and just like all of the other monkeys that have that intelligence if they get bored they can start to cause trouble uh, so we do a lot of enrichment for these guys to keep them busy keep them active we often refer to them as the monkey puzzlers because they are so bright they're one of very few animals at the zoo that will check my padlocks after i've locked them so i really do have to be very careful they are very bright unfortunately for macaque groups the females are always at the bottom of the hierarchy so we have three girls in this group our oldest member is called Natasha, who's just grooming her, uh, one of the boys, Neo, at the moment. She's quite easy to identify because she's actually got little pink flecks on her cheek, uh, so that makes her really nice and easy to ID. Then we have our younger girl, Lin Tang. Uh, she's also a troublemaker. She's quite young, she's only seven years old. Uh, and she likes to cause as much mischief as possible. She's got a little game that she likes to play where she'll sneak up behind one of the other macaques and pounce on them and then sit as if she did absolutely nothing wrong. Uh, which usually it creates Kato uh, the opportunity to shout or charge at someone. She, she really does like to stir up trouble. And the last member of our group is the female called Bella. Unfortunately, she is the lowest ranking individual, but every group has to have one. Um, she's an absolutely lovely little girl, but she is still a really important member of the group. She partakes in all of the really important social behaviours like grooming. Uh, and she's allowed food, but usually not the tastiest items. They don't really save those for her. Uh, but she is a really lovely girl, so this group is quite solid, they get on really well and they do function really nicely as a little family unit. 